या हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सो सो टुडे विल गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम इट्स अ वेरी फेमस प्रॉब्लम एंड इट सेज दैट कैन यू गिव मी वन एग्जांपल ऑफ फंक्शन फ्रॉम आर टू आर व्हिच इज बेसिकली कंटिन्यूस ऑन इरेशनल पॉइंट्स एंड डिसकंटिन्यूस एट रैशनल पॉइंट एंड ओ वन कैन आस्क द कन्वर्स क्वेश्चन लाइक कैन यू गिव मी वन फंक्शन विच इज कंटिन्यूस ऑन रैशनल पॉइंट and discontinuous and irrational point that is actually not possible because we know that uh, uh, continuous function uh, sorry uh, function is having uh, point of discontinuity the set of point of discontinuity is f sigma set and here q is f sigma set so it's not possible so let's come to this point actually uh, this problem so it's uh, it's a function this question just a question uh, uh, for uh, so without loss of generality let us suppose the function is from closed ab to r okay and uh, let uh, yeah this function has many name actually so uh, <coughs> its standard name is thomae function and also we can say it by uh, popcorn function or randolph function or riemann function or there are several name of this uh, uh, functions and it's defined like uh, basically uh so standard form is actually <coughs> zero when x belongs to close zero one intersection q complement and one over q when sorry one over q when x equal to p over q belongs to q and for zero it is x equal to zero so this is the standard form so uh, we'll do it in more general way so yeah here we can see that this setable rational number is countable right so we'll do it in more general setup so let s be the set a1 a2 dot 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 which is actually subset of this interval let's say i which is our closed set okay so you are choosing an interval so we are choosing a countable set a1 a2 a3 dot 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 uh, of uh, closed ab so we have to we have to uh, we have to figure out what what how this function will look like in the same manner if we look uh, this function as so it will be something like <coughs> uh, for this rational point it will be 1 over n if x equals to an and uh, that is basically belongs to s yeah if uh, zero x does not belongs to s or x belongs to i minus s right so this is our fx function for this moment okay now uh so what have to show we have to show that this function is our claim f is continuous at each x belongs to i minus s one claim and another claim is f is discontinuous at each point x belongs to s so there are basically two claim and claim to is basically obvious and we can prove it uh, <coughs> by uh, choosing some sequence suitable sequence let's say let so we will do first two because two is very easy so we'll do first two so let <coughs> xn be a sequence which is in uh, s minus i okay such that <coughs> xn converges to so let so we have to show what what is this function this function is actually called discontinuous at each point x belongs to s so let x belongs to s and for this x we can find xn belongs to s minus i so that xn belongs to so xn converges to x why so because see s is what s is our a1 a2 it's a countable set right and i is our closed ab so 
so what is the uh, i minus s i mean uh, i mean what is s closer set closer of s sorry i minus s closer okay closed a b itself right so what it says it says that this i minus s set is dense in i right isn't it this shows that i minus s is dense in i so for this sequence i mean for this point fixed point we can always have some sequence in s minus i so that it converges to x so if uh, we apply f on it so fx in what will be fx in since s minus i so by the construction of f it will be zero so it has to be converged to x so what it means it means that x equal to zero so this is continuous wow. i mean what we did actually here we assume a sequence which is converged to x and we applying both sides as f uh, on the sequence will have some zero sequence in the left hand side and if this zero sequence has to converge only uh, converge x only when x equal to zero so therefore for only x equal to zero f is continuous and at no other so initially we don't know whether this zero belongs to s set or not so we can at least say that if zero belongs to s for that case we can say that zero is the only point where this function is continuous otherwise uh, we can't say anything <coughs> so at no other points no other points or one so it is very very obvious that if if this point is not zero then only this function is discontinuous at each of the point of s right at no other points f is continuous okay so yeah so we did for the case 2 sorry claim 2 now we will go for claim 1 which is our main purpose for this uh, problem yeah so so our claim is actually basically this line right so f is continuous at each of the point so let fixed x0 belongs to i minus s right so since this function is continuous what we claimed actually so why do we have to prove that just by epsilon delta definition for each epsilon we have to show there exists some delta so that that condition is hold so let's say let assume let epsilon greater than zero we have to give one delta so we will not do uh, the usual way that means you are uh, you assumed one epsilon so we need what we need actually delta so we'll do it in some buyer what is that process the process is actually uh, by archimedean property there exist k belongs to n such that this one over k is less than epsilon right because this epsilon is positive one is positive so k epsilon will be greater than one and yeah same so <coughs> now so we'll choose for this epsilon one suitable k so that and uh, yeah name now choose a delta greater than zero such that this is our delta such that this a1 a2 dot 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 a k does not belongs to j delta what is the j delta set j delta set is the neighborhood delta neighborhood of x naught so let's look at this interval first now this is our a this is our b this is our whole i interval okay let's say it is our x0 and since the point is actually countable point so it will be like like here a0 a1 a3 a4 in this way okay <coughs> uh, and we are choosing this delta so that 
in this interval the first k terms that is a0 a1 dot 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 uh, let's say not let's um, named it by a1 a2 okay. not by a0 okay this first k terms is not there actually in this interval in this neighborhood of x0 and we can always choose such delta or we can always find such delta right so yeah so this step is done this step is done right now <coughs> once it is uh, i mean once it is uh, clear we can choose i mean what what kind of delta we have to choose we have to choose delta so that in this neighborhood right in this neighborhood there will be no such a1 a2 ak up to ak so it is better to choose zero less than delta less than minimum of mod of x naught minus ai and this i actually running for 1 to k yeah that is how we can choose delta right so that there will be no such uh, a1 a2 ak in this neighborhood in this j delta yeah we can choose it so for this so for each x belongs to j delta fx equal to 0 why so because in this interval look at this in this interval uh -huh, in this interval first because the sequence started from where a1 a2 dot 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 first ak terms are not there actually just look at this top construction sorry this is not not belongs to sorry for that uh, yeah a1 a2 ak does not belong to this j delta set so in this interval a1 a2 ak will not be there and uh, yeah then only the point will be the point in this i minus set and on i minus set we know that it is zero so in this interval uh, fx equal to zero right or if there uh the point will be a k plus one a k plus two a k plus t so in this j delta set a1 a2 a k these are not there so either some point will be in s minus i sorry i minus s or some point which are lying from a k plus one a k plus two dot 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 so for this a k plus 1 a k plus 2 fx will be 1 over k and this n is what n is greater than k right because at a k plus 1 the value of function is 1 over k plus 1 this is 1 over k plus 2 so yeah we can write this fx equal to 1 over uh, n n greater than k thus mod of fx see this is our one portion this is our another portion combining these two we can write fx is less than or equal to 1 over k and we already have we choose one uh, k in a manner 1 by k less than epsilon right so this is less than epsilon so therefore mod of fx is less than epsilon for all x from which from where we choose this x we choose x from this j delta x belongs to j delta and j delta is nothing but a interval a neighborhood of x0 delta neighborhood of x0 what it shows it shows that f is continuous at x0 since x0 is arbitrary this imply a f is continuous on s minus sorry i minus s so as a remark or as a corollary let this s set as q okay and uh, i minus s set will be our q complement actually not q q 
we are choosing mainly in this interval and same thing will go to, uh, will going to work for the entire r so it's better to look on to the uh, look onto this side actually uh, q intersection close 0 1 and q complement intersection close 0 1 so this is a countable set right now you can write this as a1 a2 dot 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 and same manner we can show that a pitch and of course the function construction will be look like 0 for x belongs to q complement intersection close 0 1 and 1 over q if x equal to p over q belongs to q intersection close 0 1 and at, recent, uh, at 0 it is 0 so this is the standard form of the thomae function and as the same manner we can prove that this function is continuous on i minus s that is on this set and also uh, in the claim one we proved that this function is continuous at zero so this is basically continuous at this set and uh, i mean on this set and on this set continuous and here this continues yeah okay thank you